afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A diesel motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Had a lot of requests. I've always got a lot of requests for one of these folks, and they are just super hard to find. But I've got one here today, and that is a pre-owned Tiffin diesel motorhome, Allegro. 2006-2005 Allegro bus, 40 TSP. 40 feet, 4 inches long, 3 slide outs, full body paint, beautiful RV folks, cost quarter million dollars new, got 30,800 miles on it, is in immaculate condition, beautiful RV folks, this is one that we actually purchased for resale, so you know it's going to be top notch, one piece windshield, fiberglass roof, just beautiful RV folks, big 400 horse ISL Cummins diesel, 1200 pound feet of torque, 10,000 pound towing capacity. Folks, this is a beautiful RV. And, and um, of course, Tiffin, built out of Red Bay, Alabama. One of the few uh, southern made RVs on the market. In fact, the only one that I know of. And they are one of the pioneering brands in the RV industry. Bob Tiffin, of course, one of the founding fathers of the RV industry. And his family still owns Allegro today, or Tiffin Homes, I should say today and of course Allegro is their kind of bread and butter. This is the bus, one of their top of the line models in 2006 and uh, like I said it was a quarter of a million dollars plus options. It's got the optional outside TV, it's got an optional full pass through storage tray, I've got pictures of it. Uh, if you go to the ad on the website parkwayrvcenter.com you'll have plenty of pictures. Fortunately I can't show them all in the video without shooting a two hour video. Got a power awning, power door awning as well. Y'all pardon, it's right here by the road, pretty loud. 22.5 inch tires, Freightliner chassis. Allison 3000, six speed adapter transmission. That 1200 pound feet of torque, folks, will take you down the road as fa faster than you would ever dare take a vehicle this size. Corners aren't beat up, 30, less than 31,000 miles. Folks, all the previous owners did was used it for 30 for less than 31,000 miles off to 150 grand. Got the side mounted radiator so you don't have to worry about blowing debris and stuff all over your uh, runabout when you're towing it. 10,000 pound towing capacity. Beautiful full body paint, folks. This unit's got a 10 gallon DSI gas electric water heater. It's got dual furnaces, it's got dual 15,000 BTU ducted roof airs, both are heat pumps. So you've got an incredible amount of cooling and heating power in this RV. No delamination. This is one of the prettier 2006 models you're going to find. It's got the Alcoa wheels, 7500 Onan diesel generator in the front, runs great. Got the three camera backup system, so you've got the cameras on the side when you want to change lanes it eliminates your blind spot and then of course your backup camera got a remote spotlight on the roof air horns air suspension air brakes other words folks loaded let's go inside of course you got the chrome mirrors let's go inside this beautiful allegro bus Double power steps. As we step inside, folks, I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Nice open floor plan. Uh, flex steel leather captain chairs are both power. They both swivel for party seating. Look over here, folks. All the buttons you could ever want. It's got HWH computerized hydraulic leveling jacks, which are fully automatic. They work great because this is one of the few brands that you have to have your leveling jacks down to operate your slide rooms. And I put them out earlier myself, so we know all that stuff works. Got the trip computer over here. Got the heated power mirrors. Like I said, the remote spotlight. Um, redundant controls on the steering wheel. CD stereo. That is a color backup camera too. Works perfectly, got the engine brake, got the adjustable pedals, got the foot control tilt and telescopic wheel. 
so you can set it to fit you just perfectly. Cup holder, um, wow, it's loaded, folks. It really is. Got ceramic tile floor, got power visors that go over the windshield. Uh, dash is perfect. There's no odors in here, no smoke, no pet odors. I don't see any cracks on that windshield, no stars or or delamination or anything like that on the windshield, folks. Unit's got seven foot tall plus ceilings in here, so you've got a lot of space. You're not going to feel claustrophobic, folks, and uh, you're going to appreciate that. HD TV, of course, flat screen, original one, so it fits the hole perfectly. Got a King Dome satellite system on the roof. Got the cherry cabinets in here that are beautiful. Um, I mean, good Lord, folks. I mean, you couldn't ask this thing to, to really be any nicer for this year model. Now, let me go ahead and clarify that, folks. You may notice I said 05, 06. And for those of you who've watched a bunch of my videos, you know we run across this from time to time. This was a 2006. It was bought new as a 2006. It was sold new and paid for as a 2006. The original owner, when they titled this RV, they took the wrong... There's two serial numbers on a MSO or Manufacturer Certificate of Origin. There's a serial VIN number, the chassis VIN number, and then there is the motorhome VIN number. And as many of you know who've been around RVs, all RVs are built on year-old chassis. You buy a 2006 model, it's built on a 05 chassis. You buy a 2018 model, it's built on a 2017 chassis, and etc. And uh, that's the way motorhomes have always been and always will be because they buy the, the chassis in bulks for the next year model. So the fact this is a 2005 chassis, Freightliner chassis, they titled it under that serial number instead of the 2006 Allegro bus chassis. And I can prove that, folks. Um, when we go back into the closet, I'll show you the build sheet where it has both VIN numbers and one clearly shows 2006. However, folks, uh, the previous owners didn't catch it, um, and of course us as a licensed, bonded, insured RV dealer in the state of Georgia for over half a century, legality says we have to sell it by the what it says on the title, and that is a 2005 um, chassis instead of a 2006 Allegro bus motorhome. But it is a 2006, it was purchased new as an 06, it was built the same time as the other 06 models were built has all the same equipment an 06 has but it just happens to say 2005 on the title because of that and I'll show you that here in a minute and I'll show you this is a factory option uh, Allegro is, is a smaller company folks Tiffin is they only build six RVs a day they have the capability to build a lot more but they concentrate on quality not quantity and that's why they're one of the most desirable brands on the used market because people know Allegro's are built to last. There's people still using Allegro's built in the 1970s because they build such a good product. And um, this normally would have two sofas here, but when you order these brand new, you can have these customized to suit your needs. And you can tell this is a factory custom job because if this had the sofa here, it wouldn't have the plug in and the phone jack back here on the back as well for your desk for a computer. So they order this with this desk and this lounger. Uh, which can be used as a desk chair as well. So if you, those of you who are wanting a full time, you've got a nice little office area built in so you can pay your bills, get on the computer, not have to use a kitchen table. Got a kitchen table. This is all Corian countertops, which is a man-made marble. Same thing on the desk. Everything matches. Got two chairs and two additional chairs in the back closet. All this is factory, folks. Factory curtains. Um window treatments all this got the shades instead of the day night shade it's got the blinds I mean the dual blind system you've got ultra leather furniture so very very soft plush leather that's in great shape even down the light fixtures you can see how nice they are this isn't just the cheapest thing they can find and throw in their RVs I mean they really put a lot of effort and high quality material in this motorhome folks I mean wow uh, we did just put brand new carpet in here, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, ceramic tile floor, and I can't, let me see here if I see a crack anywhere. Folks, everything, this tile looks great. I mean, wow. That means you know you've got a good riding chassis. Corian countertops, 
uh, show you some pretty cool features. It's got a microwave confection oven. You open these right here. You've got a hidden stove top, two burner stove top. And these aren't even broken yet. Uh, stainless steel residential seat, mowing faucets, not just the cheap plastic faucets. You open this up, you've got a dishwasher. Got some deep drawers right here, and I'll show you another cool feature. Of course, you've got these huge, <laughs> they just keep on going. But you need more countertop space or food prep area? Open this up, boom, there you go. I bet you mean, not many of you knew that. Got a little bar area right here with additional storage up top, and those are all adjustable shelves, so you can customize them to your needs. Um, open this up here, got a slide out pantry. Tons of storage. It doesn't look like it. Way more storage than you realize, folks. Of course, you've got these cabinets right here. Beautiful RV, the seven foot tall ceilings, fantastic vent fan. This is a fiberglass roof, so very little maintenance is involved there. Got the uh, marble backsplash in here, the mirrors. Beautiful RV. Got the 12 cubic foot Norco two way RV refrigerator freezer. We step through here. Here's your climate control for your airs and heat pumps. Got a big bathroom area. Again, matching countertops, so nothing's, you know, a lot of brands will put. The good countertops in the front where everybody sees them, put the cheap ones in the bathroom, but not, not Tiffin. They only put the best. Got the padded headliner, so it's easy to see if one's ever had leaks, because you'll see it sagging, has none of that. Plastic surround, skylight looks great, no signs of water damage. Those That air conditioner in here feels great, folks. I mean, that 30,000 BTU of cooling power, I've got it cranked up, it's 91 degrees outside, so it's definitely... Um, summer's not wanting to let go here in the south, let's just say that. Uh, got a residential style, but it's still an RV toilet, elongated China RV toilet. And you can see nothing sagging. Got a second vanity in here, so you got his and her vanities, another medicine cabinet. Notice all the crown molding everywhere. It's not even the, uh, this right here. You know, a lot of times you'll see this starting to peel when one gets this age. It doesn't even have that. This motorhome has been exceptionally cared for, folks. Still got the factory bed spread in the back. Looks great. Look back here. Got the original TV in here. Um, has washer and dryer hookups. It's never had one in it. Overhead. Big bathroom or big bedroom area. Queen bed. 60 by 80 queen bed. Got a headboard. Got the real nice light fixtures up front. Another cool feature you can do with this second air conditioner right here. Open up this little jet, this vent right here, mostly air dumps, and really cools the bedroom off fast. So if you like this, if you like it cold when you sleep, you'll love that. In fact, probably one of the best night sleeps you'll ever get anywhere with that thick mattress and that air conditioner going. At least for if you like cold when you sleep. Open this closet up. These are very heavy closet doors. This is a cedar line closet. It's got the central vacuum system. There's your attachments. The two extra chairs for the vanity. And I'll show you right here, and I'm hoping you can see it good. Um, right here, this is the Allegro, first of all. Let me get a little light right here. Show you right here. Uh, if my flashlight will work, uh, you can see year 2006, Allegro bus, uh, 40 TSP Freightliner. You look right here, folks, and you see the VIN numbers. You've got the top one, which is a motorhome serial number. Directly underneath it is the chassis serial number, which is what it's titled under. If I wish I could show this to you, but the 10th digit always tells you the year model. And the 10th digit on a VIN number between 01 and 09 is very, very simple. The, the whatever number it is is a year model. So the 10th digit on the motorhome is a 6. But you go to the bottom chassis number and it's a five. That's because it's an 05 chassis. So definitely, um, and I'll be happy to send you pictures of that or if you need further explanation, let us call. But it's clearly an 06 built and sold new as an 06. 
but as a dealer I have to sell it as a 2005 as listed on the title now is that something you can get corrected well that's kind of a gray area um, title laws are different from state to state um, very different nothing's universal when it comes to titles except that you got to have one and um, so depending on your state and the current regulations, that's something you may or may not be able to get corrected. Or you may not be worth the time and trouble to get it corrected. It's obviously an 06, but like I said, I have to sell it legally as far as paperwork is concerned as a 2005. So um, just keep that in mind. That way there's no surprises for anybody. Of course, your washer and dryer, if you wanted to add one, would go in here, and there is, it's never had one. It's still got, because it's got the factory shelves in there. Anyway, folks, if you got any questions about any of that, just give us a call. We'll be happy to kind of clarify it a little further. But, this is a beautiful motorhome, folks. Whoever looks at this motorhome, the first person that looks at it that can buy it, if this is the price range of motorhome you're wanting to buy, you're going to love this. This has been well cared for, ultra low miles for the year. Even if it, you can call it an 05, you can call it an 06, it's still low miles. Got dual pane windows too. I mean, this is definitely one ready for the winter. Uh, let's just say that. Nobody wants to spend 100 grand on a motorhome that you can't use till spring, folks. This is something that you can take out and use in cold weather in any part of North America. So it's an extreme four seasons model beautiful RV got tons of storage inside and out 30,800 miles it's only 99.9 folks includes a one-year nationwide limited warranty so you get a one-year nationwide warranty that's huge folks nobody else sells motorhomes uh, like this and gives you a year warranty for that low price nobody but we do. We've been doing this for 50 years, folks. You know, we've got decades of customer feedback. And the number one concern besides price that everybody has about buying a motorhome is inheriting somebody else's problems. Everybody's scared to death of that. They don't want to buy something they got to start working on. So we've done steps to eliminate that fear. Uh, first thing, after purchase, this thing's going to go through an extensive RV component checkout. Now, we've checked the basics, like the generator, the roof airs, the fridge, uh, the lights, the jacks, the slide outs. We've checked those systems in the driving. We drove it 600 miles home. Obviously, that part is perfect. However, we're going to take it one step further and check all your appliances. We're going to check your uh, plumbing, your water heater, your furnaces, your awnings, your outside bays. <coughs> Make sure your sofa right here makes a bed like it's supposed to. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Make sure all your drawers and cabinets work like they're supposed to, all your window treatments, um, and much more. I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg, folks. And if you want a copy of all the systems that we inspect and repair if needed for the price you pay, contact my sales department. They will go over it. They'll be happy to send you a copy and go over it with you as well on the phone once you have a copy of it so they can tell you what it covers, what it doesn't cover. And... Another way we've eliminated the fear of inheriting somebody else's problem on this particular one is give you a one-year nationwide warranty. It's not just through us, folks. This isn't just a homemade warranty that we slap on there. This is one that we actually pay for from a, a warranty company that has a, probably Easy Care that has a network of dealers nationwide that you could take it to because I know a deal like this, somebody's going to want to travel to get it. I mean, this is the deal that somebody would be willing to travel 2,500 miles to buy. Um, so, of course, if you have a warranty claim in the first year, you don't want to drive this all the way back here for a three or $400 repair. No, you have options. You're always welcome to bring it to us, folks. I'm not saying you can't bring it to us. You're always welcome to bring it to us. We welcome the warranty repairs. But you have options. If there's a dealer closer to you than us that's in the network that takes it, of course, you're welcome to go to them. They're going to take just as good a care of it as we will. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. We give you options. That warranty is very expensive. We pay for it out of our pocket, so you don't have to. And nobody else does that, at least that I found online. Another thing nobody else hardly does, folks, is charges you no extra fees. 
you go to these other RV dealerships, you see a motor home, you negotiate a price. Whatever they came off the price, folks, you're going to add right back in the form of dock fees, prep fees, tag and title fees, prep fees, freight fees, setup fees, and more. All those fees are 100% dealer profit. It's just a scam. To allow a dealer to sell it for a certain price, but be able to make up what they knocked off of it in the form of the extra fees. And we have no extra fees here. The sales price and applicable sales tax is all you pay. As far as how much your sales tax will be, when and where you have to pay it, whether it's to us or your local DMV office, it varies just like title laws. They, they're not universal. They vary state to state. Sometimes they even vary on how you pay for it. Make sure you call ahead, get one of my salespeople, tell them where you live, how you're paying for it. Let them give you an accurate estimate on your sales tax. That way there's no surprises. Um, and also, while you got them on the phone, they're sending you that list, they're telling you about your sales tax. Get the current lead time for a Class A checkout if you want to do Option A. And uh, my recommendation, of course, is to look at the RV before you decide which way you want to go. You know, Option A, you get the inspection. And let me tell you about that inspection, folks. This motorhome will pass that inspection with flying colors. No expense will be spared. If we lose tens of thousands of dollars on the deal, folks, we're still going to make sure it passes that inspection with flying colors. And we do what we say we're going to do, and that sell it to you for $99.9. It doesn't matter if we spend a lot more than we intended to on the inspection. Uh, we're still charging you $99.9. So no matter if, and, and it has happened before, folks. We've lost a lot of money doing it this way. But in our particular circumstances, that is the most, that is the best way that makes the most sense for our particular business. Reason being, and we don't check these things out beforehand, besides the major stuff, of course, is we've tried it both ways over the past 50 years. Here's what happens, folks. You've got 200 plus sets of customers a week that walk through these things. A lot of times they've got their kids and their families with them. People, unfortunately, don't have respect like they used to for other people's property. Um, they've stolen parts off RVs. I've caught customers stealing parts in the past. Their kids jump around on furniture. They open up drawers. They open up vents and leave them open so it rains and it causes water damage. That's happened out here more times than I can count. Folks, we spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a year in fixing stuff from stuff that was done to by customers on the lot they used a bathroom in them i mean it's absolutely ridiculous folks the stuff we have to do so you know we've tried checking them out before but by the time they sit out here for two or three four weeks we got to check them out again anyway so we're doing double the work for the same profit so instead we just check the basic stuff when it comes in like the systems i mentioned we put it out here and uh, sell it and then check it after we sell it and right now folks we're looking at less than a two-week turnaround for a class a diesel and you want to verify that with your salesperson because that changes day to day but you get the added benefit of instead of something that was checked out a month ago that everybody's been in and out of and half torn it up you've got the added benefit of everything freshly checked freshly cleaned then it's locked up and kept locked up until you get here to get your uh, to pick it up and nobody else will go in it. You know, the uh, way it works, folks, once you purchase it, my RV techs do their inspection. After they're done with it, the cleaning crew gets in here inside and out, cleans it up for you. Um, my service manager, Gordy, does his final walkthrough. If he's satisfied with it, he'll call you to set up an appointment, uh, set up a date and time that's beneficial for both of us. Once you arrive here at your appointed time, the tech that checked it out knows it better than anybody is going to go through this RV with you, spend some quality one-on-one -on -one time, show you how to operate everything, show you everything on our list works perfectly. And like I said, you should already have a copy of it by that point. He'll have a checklist. He checks everything off as he goes through it. And, uh, of course, have you sign at the end stating that he went over everything. He'll answer any questions you have, give you tips, tricks, and pointers, show you any repairs he had to make and more. Uh, if you got to run about, he'll help you hook that up as well. And all that's included, and then your one-year warranty goes into effect the day you pick it up or the day that we deliver it. And we do have nationwide delivery available. Um, all that's included, plus we give you 21 nights of free camping at select RV resorts nationwide, up to seven nights at a time, to be used in a 12-month period. So that's $1,000 of camping. 
you get the one year warranty you get that plus you get a drive out uh, uh, drive out tag you get a starter kit with all your camping essentials which nobody does anymore sewer hose water hose pressure reducers all in a five gallon bucket um, so all you got to do is just throw some food in it throw some luggage in it take it to the campground and folks that's an easy stress-free option uh, fresh stress-free worry-free option as far as buying the RV and it's 99.9 which is the price that attracts you to this motor home to begin with or we have option B option B means you buy it as is and when I let me clarify as is we've checked the major stuff but we don't guarantee any of it there's no warranty there's no inspection there's no walkthrough demonstration there's no free camping all you get is a motor home a starter kit and a drive out tag and some instructional DVDs too as well as you get that on option A and um, that's it and keep in mind folks let me clarify the as is it's a legal term actually as is means you the buyer are 100 percent responsible for any current or future repairs that this RV may need and there's no exclusions to that rule it doesn't matter if it's running gear if it's a motor transmission if it's a uh, the air system, if it's uh, awnings, if it's a refrigerator, whatever, it does not matter, folks. There is no excluded system from that as-is rule. You will be responsible for any current and future repairs. As long as you understand the conditions of an op option B price, we're happy to give you an option B price. And option B saves us time and money. The, at the benefits to you, option B over A, is you get a discount offer already incredibly low price plus you get to take it home the same day you pay for it instead of waiting for an inspection if you want a price on option B that's also haggle free firm just like option A give us a call 706-965-7929 or go to my website parkwayrvcenter.com click on the this Allegro bus and click on the get lowest price feature and you will get the option B price and then you don't have to make your decision based on my video or my recommendations this is this is a used vehicle folks this is my personal recommendation. treat this like you were buying a very expensive 2006 model car used car with 30,000 miles you know come out look at it spend some time in it test drive it do your own inspection and then decide if this is the RV for you if you can now, folks, I know everybody's lives are different. Some people can, some people can't look before buying. You know, we do sell a couple of hundred of these a year to people we never even meet. They just buy it strictly off my pictures and videos, and, and we appreciate the trust that you put in it, that you put with us to do that. And we'll, we're completely straight up honest. If we see something wrong with it, we're going to tell you. If I see something wrong with it while I'm shooting the video, I'm going to tell you because there's no such thing as a new used RV or a light new. In fact, light new is one of the most misleading terms in advertising today. It's either new or used, and this is used. Um, if it's used, it's imperfect. There's going to be cosmetic imperfections. We concentrate on the mechanical nature of everything so that everything works, but um, if there's a scratch, a ding, a den, a worn spot, a uh, stain or anything like that folks that's a cosmetic imperfection that's part of buying a used RV that's why you're buying it for 99.9 instead of 250 grand so this is a great deal folks it really is um, and like I said uh, come look at it come test drive it if you can if you can't we'll be happy to take additional videos take pictures answer any questions you have you're welcome uh, to have an independent inspection Inspector come out and look at it and there are several of them in this area that we're happy to give you their information on That are a third party that are completely separate from us and they'll give you an honest an honest inspection of it If you want to do that It's entirely up to you folks. Of course, we do prefer that you come look at it come test drive it before you decide if it's the right one for you But like I said uh, Earlier it you know, we understand that not everybody can so we we'll do our best to accommodate you Anyway, folks, 706-965-7929 is our phone number if you want to check out this or you're interested in purchasing this 2006-2005 Allegro bus. Um, financing's available with approved credit. Minimum 10% down payment is mandatory. Not our rules, it's a bank. doesn't matter how perfect your credit is, folks. We, you have to have minimum 10%, sometimes more than that. 
um, either cash or trade equity. So please keep that in mind, folks. If you don't have that much down, uh, you're welcome to go to your own bank or credit union. We're more than happy to send them over any paperwork they need to, uh, to try to get a loan in your name on this RV. We are not like other RV dealerships, folks. We do not mark interest rates up on financing. That's a huge concern, especially in this price range. Because other dealerships' finance departments mark interest rates up over what the bank approves you for. So in other words, you go into a RV dealership, you get approved for 8% or 7.5. I'm just throwing out numbers for an example. You get 7.5, chances are they really got you approved at 6 and 6.5 and that they marked that interest rate up. And over the life of, say, a 144-month loan or a 180-month loan, that's going to add up to thousands of dollars in higher RV payments over the life of the RV loan if you keep it long enough to pay it off. And that's costing you money. And the banks let them do that and let them keep the difference. Should be illegal, but it's not. Because nothing a dealer offers you is, is, is at their cost, folks. If they offer you financing, they're making money on it. If they offer you extended warranties, they're making money on it. If they offer you gap insurance or even regular RV insurance, they're making money on it. They're marking, they're marking their cost up sometimes four and five times over dealer cost. You need gap insurance, folks? Contact your auto insurance company. You can get it there for a fifth of what a dealer's going to charge you because that dealer's got it marked up to make money. Never go with the insurance from a RV dealership because they've got the premium marked up at least double over what it should be. And always, folks, if you currently have an RV loan, and I had a guy thank me for this the other day, saved him a lot of money. If you went to the RV uh, dealership's finance department, get your current payoff, your current rate, get your um, uh, call, get on your phone or the computer, Google RV financing, go directly to the banks. Don't go through a broker, don't go through uh, a dealership, go directly to the banks, refinance it, chances are you're paying quite a bit more interest-wise than you should be. Now, our interest rates are low because we don't, in fact, we're a lot lower than the big corporate dealers like Ripoff World because we don't mark our rates up. We offer financing as a courtesy, not as a way to make money. Folks, and the reason why we do this is simple. We want you to come back here. These big dealers, these big corporate dealers, they don't care if they ever see you again. All they care about is how much money can I make off this customer today. After that, they don't care if you never come back, if you never send a friend or family member down there. They don't care. They made their money. We're different. We've got generations of families that have purchased from us for the past 50 years. We're family owned and operated since 1968, folks. We sell five to 600 used RVs a year. I mean, we want you to come back and we want to sell you something that if you keep by this motor home today, keep it five years, want to trade it back in, we want you to be able to have equity in it so you can trade it. These other guys, when you go out and you buy a $150,000 motor home and you leave there owing 190000 on something that was priced one hundred and fifty, you're stuck in it. You are. You can't do nothing with it until it's paid for. But we want you to be able to come back here, A, have a nice enough motor home that we can trade back for it, sell it to somebody, and they can use it for several years and trade it back in and, and sell it again. And uh, we want you to be in it where you can sell it or trade it without getting hurt. And, um, of course, you can always sell it for more than you can trade. That's, that's common knowledge. I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. But... We want you to be able to have options. We don't want you to sit, have something sit in your driveway that you owe 40, 50 grand more than it's worth like other dealers do. I mean, we just don't operate like that, folks. We don't make a killing on these RVs, but we sell a lot of them. You know, we're not a high volume, we're a high volume dealer, but we're not a high markup dealer. You can tell that very fast when you get online and you look at other 2006 Allegro buses, uh, 40 PSTs, and compare it to this one. And see how many of those, even at higher prices, give you a year warranty. And you can tell right away, we obviously are not getting rich on everybody that comes in this lot, but we sell a bunch, folks. My grandfather had a saying that we've always adopted as our kind of unofficial business motto, and that is you make your dollar with ten dimes instead of four quarters. You have to sell more to make that dollar, but at the end of the day, you made your dollar. Everybody's happy because they bought for a lower price. And thanks to the Internet, people are willing to travel now for a deal like we give you 
uh, where before everybody was just stuck to whatever the local dealers had. So you get online, you can compare prices, you can look up anything and everything you want to know about a motor home. I mean, just some great resources online. Go to my website, folks, parkwayrbcenter.com, and I've got, if you're on YouTube, go to the video description, the first paragraph, I have a link to our used Class A diesel page. You can click on it, take you right to it. If you go down to the Allegro, to this Allegro bus, I'll have this factory sales brochure in PDF, PDF format you can download or print out and study. You'll know more about it than I do. You'll know more about it than, than pretty much anybody selling it. Whether you buy one from here or not, you need to do that on any RV you're looking at and study about how it's built, the options, the features, the history of the company that builds it, and more. And all that's available on that factory sales brochure. I also have a factory floor plan if it's available on the website as well. I also have uh, finance applications and all financing again with approved credit minimum 10% down. You can apply for financing. If you've got a trade-in, folks, we love to trade. We love trade-ins. We trade for RVs. We trade for boats. We trade for just about anything of value that we can legally sell and not have to feed every day. And yes, I'm including things like guns and jewelry and gold and silver and coin collections. I've traded for pretty much about anything and everything that you can ever imagine. If we can get a value on it, folks, we're not afraid to put a trade figure on it. So if you've got something other dealers said no to, give us a call. You might be surprised when we say yes. Um, I've got an appraisal form on there as well. And I'll have much more. I'll have a 24-7 text feature where you can uh, talk to a live operator 24-7 text and chat feature. Of course, that's a third-party service, so you know, if they can't help you out, they'll send your information to my non-commissioned sales department who will call you back the next business day. Our phone number is the best way to reach us, folks, which is 706-965-7929. That number is answered 24-7. After hours, our answering service picks it up. If they can't help you, uh, they will just like the text and chat feature. They will, con they will give us your contact info and somebody will call you back the next business day. No commission salespeople. That saves you a ton of money because you're not paying an extra 25% for the RV like you do at other RV dealerships just to cover the RV salesperson's commission which is 25% of the gross profit. Um, plus you don't have to deal with the sales pressure. The games, the gimmicks, the trouble, the lies, the BS, everything that everybody hates about buying from some commission salespeople. We're one of the few dealerships in the south that you can look at 150 plus used RVs completely unescorted during business hours. You don't have to go through a sales office and give up your personal information before they even let you on the lot. You don't have to look at what the salesperson wants to show you. You can look at anything and everything you want for as long as you want. And you can certainly have somebody with you to walk around with or you can look at your own leisure. It's entirely up to you. Um, people love that about us folks. And it costs us money to do that, like I said earlier. People walk through these things, they don't take care of it, but we're still going to continue to do that, folks, because that's, what, that's one, th one of the many things that makes us different than everybody else. So, you know, if you've been to these other places and you have to give them your phone numbers and they have to copy your driver's license and they have somebody puppy dog you around trying to sell you everything that you take a glance at, you don't have to worry about that here, folks. Everybody gets paid the same whether you buy one from us or not. That's the way buying and selling should be. That's the way our customers, you like it, and that's the way our salespeople like it because they know exactly how much money they're going to bring home every week to their families. There's no guessing, hoping for a good week, and praying you don't have a bad week like commission salespeople have. I mean, it's that's, that's just the way we've always done it, folks. may be different, but it, by God, it works. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, again, one more time, our phone number is 706-965-7929. Give us a call. Drop us an email. Come visit with us, folks. Come meet us. Tour our facility. Look at our inventory. Meet our employees, folks. That's the way buying and selling should be. You need to put a face to a name and a voice. and Come out and see us, folks. You'll be glad you did. Uh, very few people make the trek here and don't see something that they want to buy. Very few people come here with all of our inventory and, and do not and very few people leave here not without wanting something on our lot and um, 
we have 150 RVs, used RVs in stock more than anybody else in the 500 mile radius. So it's definitely worth a trip here from wherever part of the country you're from, folks. We've sold to buyers from all 50 states. We sold to tons of buyers from Canada, from Australia, from England, uh, and many, many other countries, folks. So trust me, I don't care how far away you live. We have sold somebody in your area a camper, a motor home, or a fifth wheel before. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Green Gold, Georgia.